I'm going to delete all these brick walls right here, delete them off the screen, and we're going to take a look at something called a stacked wall. Uh, Revit has uh, a tool that allows us to make a composite wall out of many different styles that we already have in the file and see what I have available to me. Now you can make whatever uh, wall types you want, but the first step to make a stacked wall is to have the pieces that you want to make it out of. In this example, I'm only going to show a two-layer stacked wall, but you can easily make it out of three or four segments to whatever fits your need. So for example, a wall that is stone at the bottom, brick at the top, and maybe limestone at the very top, those could be three different layers, and you can actually program the wall to be that way. Let's take a look. We have right here uh, brick on metal stud, and we have CMU on metal stud. So I'm going to use those two, and I'm going to make a stacked wall. Scroll down. You'll notice that in the type selector, at the very top I have basic walls. Then I have a section we'll get to later, which is called curtain walls. And at the very bottom, I have stacked walls. Right here, it says exterior CMU on metal stud. Now, this one is already programmed into Revit, and you cannot delete the very last of the stacked walls. There's always one in every file. As I place that, that wall and I put it on the screen, let's take a look at what we have. And this is right out of the box a stacked wall. Now, this doesn't look very interesting, but there's a lot of things that we can do with this. So what Revit did is it took uh, a wall definition of two various walls and stacked them on top. We select the wall and look at the properties. And in this case, I'm going to edit it. And right away, because I had the preview open before, I see a wall section preview of this wall. I don't have a lot of the other tools that I normally have. I just have this one button that says Structure. When I click on it, I only have a very simplistic view of two walls, exterior brick on metal stud and exterior CMU on metal stud. Those were the types that I pulled down from the menu over here. Those are my only choices. When I insert a layer, you'll see another segment arises. And the only thing that I can choose are the walls I already have in my file. So again, the first step of making a stacked wall is make sure that you have the components that you want to make the stacked wall out of. Let's leave these three components right here. I see that one of them is listed as variable. Always, we always have to have one variable segment, and that's for the reason that the wall needs to be able to stretch. When you pull a level, as we've seen before, up, and this wall is attached to it, one of these needs to stretch with the wall. We get to tell it what layer stretches with it. So in this case, I want my base to say exactly the same size, and I would like my top portion here, for example, to be only four feet, and you'll notice it adjusts right here in the preview, and I would like my middle portion to be variable. If that's not the case, if I would like my middle portion to be eight feet, for example, then all I have to do is click on the layer I do want to make variable, this one for example, click the variable button, and what you'll notice is the top one now becomes variable, and the second segment now becomes something that I can type in, and I can say eight feet for example, and now this one will remain the same, but the top layer will stretch. That's how a stacked wall works. So the only thing a stacked wall really is, is a holding space for segments of other walls that you have in your file. Now I'd like to embellish this a little bit. I'd like to add something to this wall right here. I'd like to actually add a stone cap to it. Now the way to do that is to add a reveal to the wall that is going to be cutting it. So, for example, I could add the stone cap to the bottom wall, and then it would show up there. But the problem is, is the top brick would then cut through it. You can play around with this a little bit and see the results of it, but experience will sooner or later tell you that you need to put those sweeps into the wall that's going to be cut by them. In this case, that's the brick wall. So if I were to go to a file type, I'm going to activate the wall command here and go to the wall type that I know is the top portion, which is brick on metal stud. If I were to go into the edit type here and manipulate this file, to add sweeps to this file, I would affect all the walls that are brick on metal stud in this entire file. I may not want to do that. So I'm going to duplicate this just to be safe, exterior brick on metal stud, and I will call it with cap. And when I do that, now I'm safe to go and edit just this wall type and not affect any others. I go into the edit box, and as we saw before, 
down here at the bottom, I have a sweeps tool. I'm going to add a profile. And in this case, we will pick, uh, let's say, the 8-inch wide precast sill. Um, we'll pick a material of concrete, for example. You can pick whatever material, limestone. And let's see what that looks like. We can worry about these other settings, but let's just see what that looks like. And right now, I have that. Well, that is pretty much exactly what I was going for, so I'm happy with this. I hit OK, Apply, and OK. Now, the reason this didn't change in this screen right here is because this wall is still pre-programmed with the generic wall that I had before. So let's take a look at that. Stacked wall. I'm going to edit this. Go in here to the structure. And instead of, first of all, I'm going to get rid of this top layer for this example to be a little simpler. I'm going to get rid of that. Now, my variable layer right here is currently the very regular out-of-the-box uh, brick-on-metal stud that we had before. So I'm going to click on that one and replace it with the one that I made with cap, okay? And instantly you'll see that I now have this nice little cap that shows up right here at, at the top of this wall. I'm going to hit OK on this, apply and OK, and my wall has this nice cap. The interesting thing about this is this makes something where you have a larger project with a lot of these walls very, very easy to do because I can simply um, create similar and just draw walls to my heart's content, and they will all have that exact same condition at the very bottom. You can get a little bit crazier. So as I go to the wall tool and click on this top portion right here, I'm going to go back to that wall I created right here with cap, and one more time, add one more thing to it. I'm going to edit it, edit the structure. Again, I'm down at sweeps, and I'm going to add another line. And in this case, I'm going to say that that's going to be a profile. And let's guess that we're going to make it 16 inches wide. Again, I'll make it out of concrete for right now. And in this case, I do not want it justified from the bottom of the wall, but I actually want it justified from the top of the wall, because the cap, I want it to go on top. So I hit OK. And right away at the top here, you'll see that I have a nice stone cap on the wall. Hit OK on this, and my entire file will be updated, and I now have a nice cap on all my walls.